Man, y'all ever got like, y'all ever get like, kind of, kind of turned on by depending on what type of draws you wear? <laughs> like if I wear compression draws, it's just like, you know, my shit's not moving. But I got on some cotton draws today, so shit's kind of rubbing the tip. <laughs> When I was a little boy, I wanted to be a hero. The truth is, when you get older, sometimes things don't always turn out the way you hoped they would. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Handle that business. Believe in yourself. Create your own destiny. take carbs it is crucial for me at least that I have some type of like insulin mimic um, pills that I take with the carbs um, so you see I just took the Nutribio which I like this company man um, super carbs uh, right here and this is 25 grams of carbs yeah 25 grams of carbs put some other stuff calcium phosphorus magnesium sodium potassium Stuff to help you keep you from cramping and stuff but honestly if i don't take like something like a glucose deposit type of pill with the carbs especially with my pre-workout it just kind of sits in my stomach and i'm bloated the entire workout and there's like this weird knot in my stomach so um i make sure i take you know with pretty much the glyco something usually with brands it's going to be just like a glucose deposit a type of pill there's i mean majority of brands have it so um just a word of advice to anyone who takes carbs and feels like it sits in your stomach i'm about to literally finish i got one more day well actually today is my last day of this test rejuvenate uh, i think i mentioned it in another video i've been taking this for the last uh, 30 days feeling pretty good on it so I am pretty much done with that. I wish I would have like um, got testing done for like, you know, cause I feel like I don't think nobody really, really gets these like test booster products, goes get like blood tests done and you know, testosterone um, done. And then, you know, do like a before and after to see, you know, which test boosters work. Um, I wish I would have done that with this because I know I was feeling a little bit lethargic, like lazy and stuff. Not lethargic, I just said just lazy. And especially with my workouts, uh, it wasn't, I wasn't like as aggressive. Um, and then I started taking that and I was feeling pretty good about like hell the first week. And once again, I'm not, I'm not sponsored by anybody, so I can say whatever the hell I want without anything. So I'm not trying to sell you anything, I don't have a code. Um, so yeah. All right, so I want to kind of go over this because I feel like people don't know any better. Let's say you're going to the gym. First off, you know, if you, I know you want to smell good, you know, when you go to the gym, you know, you feel, look good, smell good, feel good, you, your energy's better. Now, I understand the types of colognes, if you're going to put some on and go to the gym, let's just do this one thing. Do not, first off, especially if you know you be stinking even with like deodorant, so all of a sudden you got the stink of, of your underpits and then you, it, it, we can tell that it's, it, it smells like you tried to cover your stench with some cologne. We can tell, okay? What you do, you need to soften it up. Do not directly put the cologne on you. Do not. When you, if for anybody just just because it's because it's strong it's stronger of course when you put it directly all you need to do right here is you spray it in the air spray wait three to five seconds and then walk in the vicinity spray one two three walk let's do it together spray one two three walk that's it babe got this whole body deodorant 
she don't like the smell of it, but she likes the smell of it on me, and I like the smell of it. It tastes like it smell like it smell like them um them hard oatmeal cookies with the frosting on it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. That's what it smell like. So we got the new drops for Alpha Lead. A whole bunch of new stuff. A whole bunch of new fits, ladies and gentlemen. You guys need to grab this shit. It comes out the 18th. I'm telling you, it's already in store. Don't buy it in store because you need to use my code Aftermath. Yo, this right here is the fire. This green, this green, like, come on now. These right here is gonna be my favorite. With the alpha in the back, I'll do a clothing haul for it um, soon. Yo, this is see with the with the oh, that's fire. Come on now, come on. Use code aftermath when you order. Um, I I have a shipment coming of my clothes sent from Alpha Lee, but I want to wear something for you guys right now. Um, so we're gonna grab this. The full ass dressing room with the store at the gym. So you know, you know. Sure, that's nice. Nice and smooth feeling, man. Soft. Damn. So I think the shirts feel the same way. So that means they're gonna be very like cool feeling. It's like it has a very cool feeling to it. Hello. Hello. What up? What you got there? A little twenty? Uh, yeah. Yo. I thought there was supposed to be an anime party at y'all's place. Huh? I thought there was supposed to be an anime party at y'all's place. We don't have a couch. <laughs> Gym time, ladies and gentlemen. You already know what it is. You know what the vibes is. We here and back at Alpha Land about to bring you the heat. Please don't beat your meat. Because the fire is getting higher. Because the clothes is what I show. Alphaleteathletics.com. You already know what it is. Code Aftermath. We dripped out. We fresh. And I'm about to uh, reveal the chest. Let's go ahead and get it. Push pull day, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, like, subscribe this video. Let's go. So we're gonna warm up with a quick circuit. We're gonna do 10 reps, ball press, 10 reps, push-ups. Uh, we'll do this about two to three sets and we'll get started with our bench session and then I'll move on to deadlifts. But we got that heavy push pull uh, workout today. Um, as y'all saw in the last oh, two videos ago, I did bench and squat. I don't wanna do that again. Squat, I want to have its own day. So we're gonna do push pull instead. Let's go ahead and get to it. Ah. All right, let's go. We have to come inside because all the benches outside are taken. Every single one of them, the pilot and benches, the regular benches. Outside, man, it's crazy out here, man. We're just trying to get by, you know, just to get by, you feel me? It's like, it's like dead in here. I ain't no energy. I'm like, I gotta just like make this shit up myself, you know? Everybody in here just like, I told myself when I came back from Samoa years ago, I wouldn't complain. I just gotta get the shit done. You know? Came to the gym yesterday and I left within 30 minutes because I wasn't feeling it. I feel ashamed. I still could have got some cardio in. I'd be having to find out what type of music day it is because sometimes it's not a hype music day. Sometimes it's like a chill, feel good vibes music day. Anderson Pack, what, what I got? I'm like, damn, this, this is my mood today. Anderson uh, Pack, Schoolboy Q, am I wrong? You know, like it's like kind of like that chill party vibe. Yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, it's crazy <laughs> because the days that I'm not, I kid you not, I'm not, I'm not bullshitting. Like I'm not trying to make this show. The days that I'm not filming, my bench be on point. Lay's last two sessions when I'm filming, nothing. I have not wanted to be. It's like fuck, bro. Last time, last time I bench I did a control 465. Like I mean, time under tension, crazy. Control 465, slow all the way down, all the way up as you see right here in the video. So that took a lot out of me and that was only two days ago. So maybe I just need to give myself more time to recover. But actually I'm not gonna go up. We'll just go ahead and go to our set. Throw a 25 on there for about five reps. Ugh. The new fit right here. Once again, drops on the 18th this month. He was code aftermath. Yeah? Prepping for nationals. Prepping for nationals. Hey, what's your name? Mandy. Mandy Teron. Nice to meet y'all. Denzel air top. She ain't gotta pop that shit for Pip. Okay, well never mind. I I I I try it. Yeah, this is the weight of the day. This is the weight of the day for sure. Just like, there's like some days where it's just like, this is the perfect heaviest weight of the day. As in like, it's good enough weight to where like, I feel good, I'm not hurting, I'm not, like I feel like I'm getting work in, but I also feel like I'm not cheating myself out of today's workout. So that's what this is right now. All right, so when, the reason why I have my feet up is because we're working on a lot of form, a lot of core strength, a lot of balance. And the thing about, this is about pure strength. There's no leg drive, right? You know, core has to be engaged. So you have to be punctual with your technique in the bench in order to keep yourself balanced. I mean, this is an advanced movement. This is not for beginners, it's an advanced movement. So if you know that you're advanced, if you have to think that you're advanced, you're not advanced. If you know that you're advanced, this is for you. Other people, you know, you can just, just have your feet down and work on that formation. But this is just to fine tune the technique in the bench a bit more while still getting the strength benefits. Last set, drop it out, 225. Working on form, um, time under tension. Nice and slow and controlled. Descent, explosive, explosive, um, eccentric. No, ex explosive, concentric, slow, eccentric. So that's what we got right here. Try to hit about 10 reps. Um, five, five to 10 reps is the goal. Stop. suck to be hyped on a fucking uh, Texas deadlift bar. Knowing I don't use one, so it's like, what's the point? It's cool for the gram, but I still gotta get used to the 750 on this versus a 750 on the deadlift bar.
Man, y'all ever got like, y'all ever get like kind of, kind of turned on by depending on what type of draws you wear? <laughs> like if I wear compression draws, it's just like, you know, my shit's not moving. But I got on some cotton draws today. So shit's kind of rubbing the tip. <laughs> so I'm kind of like, <laughs> like chill out there. <laughs> Boy, chill out, chill out. Damn cotton, cotton boxes feel a little too good right now. <laughs> Trying to do straight leg for sets of three today for deadlifts. Not too many, uh, not too many sets. It's like about like three or four sets, uh, but we want to go straight leg, straight as possible. It might be like a slight knee bend, but it's still going to be like straighter than my usual. I'm not going to like bend all the way down to get it up. So yeah, that's what we got today for deadlifts and then some accessory stuff. Mike, nice to meet you, bro. Already. Mike, y'all, y'all, yeah. Like oh, thing? of course, of course. Y'all visiting? Yeah. Yeah, yeah from, from where? Connecticut. You're Conne Connecticut? Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. I, I that think. was the last time I was in Connecticut. I think. You know the the Lost Brief? I think they're uh, they're they're uh, like they're two guys. They're they're big influencer guys. They're up there. I think believe in Connecticut as well. But yeah, they have like a whole brand. They call it the Lost Brief. It's like these two super athletic like ripped guys uh, up there. They got a gym up there too, actually, that they just opened up. Y'all should check it out. Yeah. All right, moving on to a little bit more bodybuilding type stuff, power building type stuff. What we'll do is we'll do about four or five sets. We'll go about 10 to 15 reps, heavy. Uh, let's call this like a cable press to fly. We'll come out like a fly, but we'll come in like a press. The hyper extensions for last uh, because after these, I'm, I'm, I'm just done. So we'll get some blood in that lower back and the erectors, and then uh, we'll pretty much do. I might do one more exercise, but we'll pretty much be done. Uh, we'll probably do about uh, four, four sets. I'm saying about like 10, eight to 10 reps. I'm gonna have a 45 pound plate, so work on that squeeze at the top. Gotta protect that lower back. Uh, we out. Headed back to the house. Finish food for the rest of the day. I don't even know if we got groceries, bro. And I really don't feel like getting groceries today. But we gonna see. I'm gonna go to the fridge. I know we got some eggs and some turkey bacon. So I might just have some eggs, turkey bacon with some toast. I'm gonna see if Babe can make it right now. So by the time I get home, it's there. I ain't gotta wait. Convenience. Uh, and then I'll see what I have for the rest of the day. I know there's still like some of that lasagna with zucchini left. I mean, we'll just, we'll just get to the house and see. So let's go ahead. The crib. Oh, and we switched over to my camera because look, Brian's still here. Oh, damn. So, That's all right. Uh, I borrowed shoes from upstairs, so about to do that. And here's my busted shoes. All right, got my shoes, got a 3D skidder into the house let me go ahead and call babe now to see if she's uh up to cook breakfast probably not because she just fell asleep at like 11 o'clock so 
I don't know if she would even be up right now. When I say, yeah, she didn't fall asleep until like 11 something. Oh, you up? Yeah. You up? <laughs> what you doing up? I'm just cleaning up and just shaving up, you know? Mmm. He's a mess. Not really, but kind of. I ain't say nothing yet. We got any records for Get a lot of love from 12, but I don't reciprocate. Bae got this 50 calorie ass orange juice. This shit ass. This shit tastes like you dropped. I told her it tastes like you dropped the vitamin C pill in some water. That's how that whole tastes. But five pieces of turkey bacon, three eggs, two pieces of burnt and a half toast. And that hoe is still banging. It's a, it's a nice burnt up. Oh my God, let me see. Oh, babe. It's a good burn. You tripping. And it will be followed by a protein shit. I didn't cook it all the way. It's kind of like yolky. Breakfast. Boom. It's done. It's easily. I love that smell of the day. I have no idea what we're going to do today as far as food. Babe said something about some fried chicken rice. Chicken fried rice? Chicken fried rice. So she might make some chicken fried rice. Today so might be a two meal a day only. And I'll have a protein shake within about two hours from now. Then after that, two hours from then, chicken fried rice. So by that time, it'll be... It's not 11 o'clock. What time is it? It's 5 o'clock. 5 Seven. We lost an hour actually. Nine ish. It's about nine o'clock. Probably have some fried rice. Chicken fried rice. Simple days. I'm about to be on my computer editing this video because I don't seem to know how to appropriately structure my video shooting. So, therefore, every time I shoot a video, it has to be edited ASAP for the day after. Is this the new shirt? Yeah. Very rarely, you see how she's feeling on this? If you had this shirt too, somebody would <laughs> be feeling on you. You just killed after me. <laughs> I like just killed after me. Yep. Yeah. So, yeah. See that? She pulling on it, tugging on it. Tugging. Tugging on it. You feel me? But, anyways, um, yeah. I forgot what I was talking about. So. Um, we're just going to continue with the rest of my day editing my video, um, bouncing back and forth from video editing, overwatch to video editing, smoking some hookah, take a nap, eat, and so on and so forth. Where did that, where did that, where did that phrase come from? So on and so forth. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. How do you come up with phrases? You just come up with phrases. Somebody just say something and just speak. And it's just speak. Some clothes to put up. Let's put these up real quick. I need to. I need to get my closet situated. Everybody, everybody. This is clean clothes. I do not feel like folding. And throw these clothes on top and put it back in because I don't feel like doing it right now. Shimmy shimmy y'all shimmy yay come and give it to me. This is a hookah. If y'all didn't know. This is what I be smoking on my streams boy. I'm so unhealthy dude I smoke like a Three times a day. Boom. Chicken fried rice. They just made. I am just like, this is one of those days where I'm not in like a mood to eat much. So I'm not. And I'm just going to have to pick it up tomorrow. How long I been asleep, babe? How long I been asleep? That's it? Actually, me coming back 
for more. <laughs> uh, I'm about to hop on this Apex, start my stream. It is 9 p.m. Get about two bowls of this. So I guess today's more carby day. Catching up on Barred Up. The tuning exams. The second time I'm having the tuning exams. Barred Up ain't that bad, yeah. Do you think that buy it?